Hello and welcome to this edition of Trinity in 20. Today we have a special guest with us, Jessica Crozier, who is from a division of Fort Wayne Police Department called Victims Assistance. Uh, Jessica, it was a few years back that I first heard about Victims Assistance with some work that we were doing with Fort Wayne United, but if you could tell us what what is your job and yeah. what does your department do? So our program was established in 1981. We help victims of crime here in Allen County. So basically advocates are a support system, providing that immediate crisis intervention and definitely helping individuals navigate the criminal justice system. And, and for most of us who have never navigated the justice system, who have never been victims of, of a crime, yeah. uh, I remember hearing stories about people who you interacted with and the difference that you and your team made in their lives, both, you know, as court cases come up, as things have happened in your life. Yeah, yeah. yeah we help a lot of individuals. I think last year we provided services to over 7,200 primary crime victims. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot, that's a lot. And, and, and to be clear, these are the people who have had something bad happen to them. Yeah, right? they're the people that have had something traumatic, a crime that's occurred where they are the victim of that case. Yeah, and in the worst case, somebody who's had somebody who was murdered, who died in the yeah. midst of that, that's, that would be the worst case. So yeah, I think it just varies. I mean, we deal with all victims of crime. So, I mean, everyone has a, you know, unfortunate traumatic, traumatic event. So you try to help them navigate through that and provide that additional support. Yeah. That's a heavy job. It is. Heavy job, heavy job. But you're doing, uh, Victims Assistance has a special program coming up for back to school, yep. back to school. And, yeah. And so what are you all doing? So every August, we try to do a book bag giveaway event just to provide additional support for family members. A lot of times our families are struggling financially, so it's just our way to give back and try to alleviate some of that stress by giving them a book bag filled with school supplies as they head on to their school year. Yeah, um, and, and Jessica sent me a, a, an email asking whether or not Trinity would like to be involved in that project, that they, your hope is, is to give away a thousand backpacks to help kids, a thousand kids yeah. in our community, in the Fort Wayne community school system, to be ready to go back to school to give them a start as they're going back. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah. Absolutely. Last year we did a thousand and that's the goal again this year just to bring a smile to their face and it's also a way for our office and law enforcement officers to engage with families in a different light okay. and provide them that support in our way to give back and show that we care. So a thousand backpacks and that is from K through 12, is that correct? Yep, we break it down between elementary, middle school and high school. Excellent, excellent. So. They came to us wanting to know if Trinity could help support them in that program, and of course, we said yes. And it's part of our tradition to try to do something for Fort Wayne Community Schools, some sort of program. Uh, we've done everything from clothing to backpacks to shoes to, to some sort of thing to help support kids as they're going back to school. And you came to us, and we're, we're excited to be able to help you with that. So what yeah. goes into a backpack? Basically, we follow the Fort Wayne Community School supply list. So you're talking about folders, you're talking notebooks, pencils, glue sticks, all those fun things that kids need to start their year off right. And just filling those book bags up to be able to give it to them to alleviate that stress. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, if it's good for you all, we're gonna have a list available in, in the congregational email that has gone out. You can see the list of, I mean, you provided us with the list of all of the various supplies yeah. that goes. So if you're really into that, if you're out shopping for your own kid for school supplies, you can throw a few extra things in uh, and we'll gather those together here and get them over to victim's assistance. If you are of a mind of saying, I don't wanna go shopping. I don't wanna go to Office Max. I don't need to go there. I don't <laughs> wanna to go to Walmart. I don't need to do any of that kind of stuff. If you're of that kind of mind, we've calculated out that a backpack, a filled backpack with the pack, costs about $35. One yeah. of our staff kind of pulled through all did this Did the stuff. math? Yeah, did the math, did the math. I bet you didn't know, $35. Um, 
to fill up a backpack for a kid to go back to school. If you would like to participate with us, and you don't want to go shopping at Walmart or Office Max, there is on our giving page on our website, and you'll find a link down in the, down in the email that this video is attached to. There is a link on our giving site that you can go through. You can click down and back to school is the tab, and you can give any amount of money. I mean, we'll accept any money to help, help our friends Absolutely. at Victims Assistance to yeah. collect those backpacks. Um, what do you hear back from? Do you ever hear back from families after they've... Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of families that are just so grateful and a lot of times they're telling you thank you at the event and just so appreciative. And I think for me, it's the smile on the kiddo's face when they can get that book bag and it's solely theirs as something brand new, um, kind of that ownership and just, hey, I got a book bag and I'm ready for to start my school year off right. Maybe my year hasn't been great. But, you know, just to see that smile at the event means everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one of the things we... we believe in strongly here is our commitment to our community and our commitment to people in our community, even if it's sometimes people we don't know personally, but our commitment to the work that you do and those who have had bad things happen to them and those families. Um, yeah. How can we help support them in some small way and let people know they're not forgotten? Yeah, I think it's just our calling with God, right, to be disciples and to help others in need, and maybe we're not going through something very similar, but how can I help them and support them? Yeah, yeah, in some small way. Yeah. In some small way. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So we are truly blessed by you all and your support. Um, it truly takes all of us to kind of help people out and to collaborate together. Yeah. Well, thank you for the work that you do. Thank you for bringing this to our awareness. Thank you for yeah. allowing us to participate in such a great program to touch the lives of so many kids. And thank you for being part of this program and part of our ministry together. And we wish you God's peace. And click on that site, uh, either do it through the website, uh, bring an offering to the church, bring an offering on Sunday morning, uh, bring stuff, and we'll get the backpacks filled. Yeah, absolutely. We look forward to seeing a picture of a thousand backpacks and a thousand kids. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. No, thank Thanks. you. Thanks. And we'll see you soon on the next edition of Trinity in 20.